In this video, I'm going to show you how to import a CATIA V5 model into 3D Experience. Let's go ahead and begin. Let's go up to our Add Service, and the icon is a plus symbol, as shown here. And I'm going to go to Import, but I'm going to select the arrow to the right of Import. This will give me the choice of a CATIA file, which will basically be a V5 version. I'm going to go ahead and select on that. And if we notice, we have a whole bunch of V5 models, or CAD parts, as they're shown. I'm going to go ahead and select this one here. And it'll give me a preview in this window. And I'm going to select Open. And I get the Select the Files to Import dialog. Now I'm going to go ahead and select OK. And I'm going to get a Files to Process dialog and I'm going to select import and I have my import report dialog which says that this import is OK in the message section. Go ahead select OK again and notice we have our part. Now if I go ahead and I run over in this area with my cursor if you notice as I do that I'm catching a highlight of a sketch or this sketch here and I can't see it. So what I have to do is I have to be able to see it and in order to do that let's go over to the specification tree and under our geometrical set where the part was created when I select on it with my left mouse button notice it's highlighted within the specification tree but also within the graphic window area. But if I select elsewhere within the window area they seem to disappear. They're actually there, we just have to put a new color to them. And in order to do that, let's go to our sketch, select on that in the specification tree with our left mouse button, then let's switch to our right mouse button, select that, and a pop-up menu appears, select properties, and within the properties window, let's go to graphic tab, and within the graphic tab, we're going to go down and we're going to look at all our colors seem to be white, which is blending in with our background, which is why we can't see anything. So if we go under lines and curves and under color, let's go ahead and select the downward arrow and we get a menu with colors. Let's go ahead and select the black. Now I can also change the line type and the line thickness if I wish as well. And I can also, if we have points we want to change colors to, we can also change the colors with points. Here it's set with white, so if we ever want to have a point, we can select maybe to say as a, a shade of blue. Now once we have that, the color that we like, let's go ahead and select Apply, and select OK. And now let's see if it works we see that my sketch is highlighted in the specification tree so it's highlighted within the graphic window if I select anywhere with the left mouse button within the graphic window and I deselect it notice that our line is now black and we can do the same thing with the other sketch I'm going to highlight it with the left mouse button right click mouse button properties in the pop-up window Go to the Graphic tab under our Properties dialog. Under our Lines and Curves, I'm going to select the downward arrow, which gives us a choice of colors in the drop-down menu, and I'm going to select Black. We can also, for points, select a color, same one as the last one. Select Apply in the right lower left-hand corner, and then OK. And there we have our two lines within the color of black and that we can see them and be able now to manipulate them. Now this goes for any of the other imports that you do within this course or any other course when you're dealing with a V5 CATIA part and you're importing it into the 3D experience.